no longer have to worry about random encounters. This one's safe. Norris. More running shoes. And an X potion. Don't care about the X potion. Not yet. Oh, hey Tara. Uh, you look like you've been better. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi? Are you gonna do that thing, Rama, where you, you know, kind of are the friendly Esper that gives advice like every other game except five ever? Yes, I call her Tara. What do you call her? Because I don't think she had an Esper name. Plop. The Esper Rama. Sometimes they live here taking the shape of humans. Um, Locke, that's a dumb question. Well, I wouldn't say a fairy tale, per se. And then along came the War of the Magi. The Empire probably didn't help a thousand years after the fact. Magitech Knights of old. We just kind of made a new world. Yeah, without that Magitech stuff, you guys are- the Empire is kind of made of paper. Those soldiers- I have never seen such weak soldiers. Actually, that's not true. Play Legend of Dracoon. Those are some weak soldiers. They have worse aim than stormtroopers, if you can imagine. Oh, and Rama and four of his Esper friends decided to flee from the Empire while they could. Now let's get Esper Terra into bed. Because she needs to rest. Because the poor thing just doesn't understand anything. Espers are drawn to magical places. So, Rama decided, hey, let's draw her here at the top of a... Wait, she's not an Esper? Well, she's different. It shouldn't be so bad if she can just understand herself a little. I mean, she figured out what she is, and I'm pretty sure she'd be okay. Maybe even utilize that power. Uh, the Magitech Research Facility. Anybody who's watched my Cthulhu video knows how much I love that place. Ooh, turns out the Empire just isn't doing it right. Even though Magitech's powerful, an Esper has to die for real and then become Magisite. And it turns out, he's brought three of his dead friends with him. Aren't you a nice guy, Rama? Oh, you're, you're going and dying for us. That's nice. You do that. Those are Magicite Crystals. And we're going to get some Espers. And now the game has changed radically. Let's get Siren, Kirin, and Stray. Apparently the War of the Magi... I mean, it did re reduce the world to... Celis, don't look so proud while you're taking your dead new friend. Okay. The way espers work is you equip them. And you can learn magic. 
And now battles are going to start dropping magic points. And for every one that we get, puts ten towards bolt, two towards bolt two, and five to poison. And now, you know the reason why I wait to level ups, is because at level up, stat bonuses. Hmm. And I'll figure out what to do with them off cam because that involves grinding. Now I start grinding. In the meantime... In the meantime, let's cutscene our way out of Zozo. So the Empire is trying to drain magic from Espers, but that's not how you realize their full power. So naturally, we're going to go into the Empire and save the Espers and just kind of hope that, you know, they don't figure out the secret because, you know, in hindsight, you know, this is probably a really, really bad plan. Why are... Oh, yeah, Narsha still has an Esper. So why don't we just kill that Esper? I mean, it looked powerful. Celis is going to the Empire. I fully intended that anyway because... Well, actually... Eh, I don't know. What of anyway? Locke is going with. These two cannot be switched out. This is why I'm not using Cayenne. Oh, yeah, I can't... Okay. So we're going to take Edgar and Saban. Because, yes, sorry, Cayenne. I totally would, but I'm shoehorned into using Locke. I'm sorry. Head for Narsha. That's not too bad. People of Chidor. There's bound to be treasures. I want to look inside the Empire. Totally not any other reason. Hey, ghosty ghost. Seems like I have a piece of magicite. Nope, I'll figure it out for myself. Alright, so. Uh, in the time that they, it took them to take one step out of town, I have already outfitted them with espers. I have saved and learned in Rama stuff because... You know, because. Also the level of bonus. Celis has a pretty good amount of magic on her anyway, but, you know, magic level up, whatever. Edgar's learning Kieran because I pretty much always keep him in the party throughout the entire game. So there's no reason not to have him start at least getting some healing under his back. And, and Locke... Fuck Locke. Bit of resentment towards Locke because, um... I just... I just... I, because he's shoehorned in and because he's not as useful as Kyan. Look at that, we have a magic menu now. Everybody can magic and I can summon. I'd love to show that off with someone useful. It costs a pretty good amount of MP, and you can only do it once per battle. But yeah, see, that's not too bad, not too shabby. And it's not like FF9 where you just, you know, have the magic until you've mastered it. No, you have to learn it first, which, you know, is interesting. So you got some two magic points. And I'll show off what that means in a little bit. Oh, and cool level up bonuses and everything. Now then. That said, I still... Okay, now. I still don't want to level up too much, but now it's okay if I do a little bit. Two magic points times five is ten percent. And it's a hundred percent flat. It's just the rate at which you learn it. So... Once you reach 100%, you've learned the spell. Also, let's make that happen. Edgar goes bottom because first in a preemptive. I wonder if that's a chocobo forest, actually. It very well could be. Now I run less and less. Can I runic sham sham? Because that would be pretty cool. Will we even find out? I doubt it. Nope. Die. You miss? Okay, now I'm significantly curious. Unless it dies now. The one time you don't use Shim Sham. The one time. 
fine then, be that way, Vulture. Whoever has a 10% thing, you're about 30% to learning something, I don't know yet. You know, I'm okay with it. You could throw a cure around that. Was that so wise? If saving people one to hit these things. Say cheese! There we go. Not too bad. The reason I'm even bothering is the magic points, and those things drop too for some reason. Okay. Jidor. Nothing changed. Wait, did anything change? There's one thing that might have changed. Damn. I'll come back for that later. There's a certain something I want out of the auction, but that's another story. Hey, Impresario, we haven't seen you since you were dead. Oh, and Encellus looks like Maria. Now you're really in trouble. And that is probably my favorite pose ever. Of all time. That person dropped it. This is the director of the opera is just an impress area. But then a letter came. The wandering gambler. Hey, an airship. How convenient, because we kind of need to commandeer one. And a unique sprite. Blackjack playing, world traveling, casino dwelling, not children's nerf sword playing, not wussy, not throw the match at me because I'm a piece of shit. Fuck you, Kingdom Hearts 2. This is Setzer. The real fucking Setzer, by the way. Sorry, Kingdom Hearts 2 Setzer pisses me off to no end because it is so incorrect and it is the only representation of my favorite game ever that we get and it's a fucking complete and total bastardization of the character. It just bothers the crap out of me. Like, really legitimately bothers me. Just seriously fucking bothers me. I'm gonna pay you to throw off this match for me. Fuck you. Fuck you, Kingdom Hearts 2. Fuck whoever decided that was Setzer. Because we're going to meet the real Setzer here in a minute, and you're going to see why. That that Setzer is not Setzer at all. Just, no. No, 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 no. Now let's go this way. We haven't gone yet. Oh, beautiful. Oops, didn't mean to chainsaw there. Whatever. Now it's runic, because I'm pretty sure a Sham Sham is coming. And I want to see if it's runicable. Yay! It's runicable! I totally called it. But just now I'm figuring out that runic is totally a thing. I never use it normally. Wow, that's a that's a nice chunk of change. I'll, I'm cool with that. How much money do I have? A good amount. Oh, cool. That works for me. What is this building? 